Hello everybody, this is Saad with you again, your favorite realtor and today I'm going to be discussing the top 5 projects and communities to be investing as of June 2024, the 5 best projects in the market and I'm not just going to talk about these projects, we're going to actually physically drive down to all of these 5 locations and check these communities out and the offers on the table with these particular projects. So please do like, comment and subscribe and join us along for the drive. So number one on the list, we have The Valley by Imar. Now, this is one of Imar's newer communities and we've just had the first handover of Eden earlier this year. So this community is still just coming alive. Around 300 families have already moved into the valley and those townhouses that you see right there, those are all Nara and Thalia, which are due to handover in the next few months. In this year, we'll see another handover of uh, another cluster of the valley. The first one was Eden. Now, this is a point that I'm stressing. As and when more and more families are moving into the valley or more handovers are happening, the prices are just going to be moving very quickly in the positive direction. So, we have an opportunity coming up right here. So, right now what you see in the valley is only phase one of the valley. Now, there is a whole expansion of the valley coming up, which is going to begin with this month, a new launch coming up for Twin Villas, which is going to be the first launch in the valley expansion, which we, uh, which we are assuming will be called Valley West. Okay, so we want to be in communities where there's a whole host of development coming along so that we can experience the organic growth in prices, which the developer will be increasing the prices with each and every new launch. And the developer of this project, as we know, is Imar. Now, we can take a look right here. They've also made like a beautiful new community center right here, which looks like it's almost ready to be operational. And over here are the other uh, valley townhouses, the Nara and Thalia, which look almost good to go. I believe in the next six months, these will also be handing over. So valley construction in full swing amazing new opportunity coming up here for twin villas we're gonna have three and four and possibly even five bedroom twin villas coming up right here looking at a price range of around 1100 to 1200 dirhams per square foot so this is a great entry point into a massive new imar community coming along because we know this community is going to be continuing its development into the Valley West expansion and you're going to see great appreciation in prices twin villas is a really really hot product in the market for you to be looking at as an investor or as an end user. The market for villas and twin villas is very uh, compact. The supply out there is very limited. So this investment opportunity right here is going to be the first one on the list. Valley twin villas coming this month. Uh, price point, three bedrooms expected to be around 3.5 million. Four bedrooms expected around 4.1 million. Five bedrooms, we're looking at around 4.8 million. So, great opportunity coming up right here. Valley, number one on the list. One of the better communities by Imar. 24 minutes from downtown. Phenomenal new project here. And big expansion coming up in the valley. So, you cannot go wrong with the valley. So, I've just exited from the valley. And now, we are heading to Dubai Creek Harbor. And I just want to show you on the map right here. It's only about 22 minutes away from... Dubai Creek Harbor, which is going to be the new downtown of Dubai, uh, where we're going to be discussing project number two on the list. But I also want to address another thing which people have asked me uh, about the huge landfill, which is right opposite to the valley. So if you can take a look right here, right in front of us, which is right opposite to the valley, that is a huge landfill in front of us. So fun fact, that is... That entire plot where that landfill is sitting at is owned by Miras. All right, they have they own that plot and also the plot across from it. So that is possibly going to be because we have the rumors are out there that Miras is going to come up with a new master plan on Dubai Island Road, and that could be the very location of that project right opposite from the valley. It makes a lot of sense because whenever Imar moves to a location, the other developers are always right around the corner. They try to buy the plots right around it to build their own communities because Imar brings that first wave of movement towards a new location and then everybody else follows suit. They build their own communities all around and that's where uh, the new communities usually move around where Imar is building. So this right here is the Dubai Lane Highway as you can see. Beautiful road, 
one, two, three, four, five, six lane, seven lanes wide. As you can see, I'm cruising at 120 kilometers an hour right now on cruise control. Smooth road. This road is this one road that will lead you all the way to downtown to the, uh, the valley right here. So amazing infrastructure that has already been put in place. The road is always super smooth. I rarely find any traffic on this road. Smooth roads all along. Uh, this is the reason why the travel times from downtown to the valley is so less. And also to Dubai Creek Harbor where we're headed right now. The distance was only about 22 minutes uh, by road. And as you can see, I'm only around 11 minutes away right now from the location. This is a major key point for the valley. The ease of access to the community, the connectivity is absolutely great. Dubai Island Highway, one of the best roads in Dubai. And this right here is location number two, which is Dubai Creek Harbor, one of the best new places to stay in Dubai. This is the future downtown of Dubai. We're going to have the new tower coming here, the new largest mall in the world, a whole host of development coming up right here. The location is absolutely amazing. Perfect blend of marina and downtown because we have the water all along in, around the island. We have the canal. We also have like amazing buildings everywhere. This right here is the address grand. Phenomenal views of the creek from this particular tower. So Dubai Creek Harbor is one of those locations like just the crowd here, the people here, you can see people from all kinds of nationalities living here in harmony, enjoying the community, beautiful location altogether. And we have the new launch of Palace Residences. Now in my previous video, which I'll link on top on the right. We had the palace residences, the existing one right here and how absolutely amazing the interiors was, the lobbies and everything is exquisite. Palace is a five star hospitality brand by Imar and a new launch of palace residences is coming up right here in Dubai Creek Harbor. Um, it's, called, it's on the waterfront, it's on the waterfront overlooking the canal and perfect creek views. 270 degrees of views right here in this project. So I'm back here in Dubai Creek Harbor in the sales center to show you the phenomenal master plan of Dubai Creek Harbor. Now, the opportunity number two that I'm talking about is right here, the first building right here. This, this is Palace Residences in Dubai Creek Harbor. Now we already have two palaces right here in Dubai Creek Harbor. We have one right there and the other one also in the front line. Both of them are waterfront buildings. So if I have to tell you exactly which of these buildings are, it's going to be the first palace was this one right here. This building was the first palace residences. And then we had this one, which was the palace north. And both of them were on the water's edge. Now, this one, the new palace residence is coming up in Dubai Creek Harbor. This is going to be the first palace residences on the mainland of Dubai Creek Harbor. And as you can see, it has some of the most phenomenal views of the creek right here. You're going to have 270 degree views of the waters all around. On the backside, you have amazing views of the park and also the new tower coming along. On your doorstep, at the bottom of the actual building, you have the beautiful expansion of the creek beach. So you have a beach access, you have the metro station, which is right there, right next to it. Probably a minute's walk. Metro station, ferry station, uh, creek beach, views of the water, views of the tower, views of the park, and also five-star branded by Palace themselves. In my previous video, when I went inside the palace, inside the palace residences right here, the first one that's handed over, you could see how phenomenal it was. Absolutely beautiful lobby experience, absolutely beautiful interiors. Similar project coming up right here. So Dubai Creek Harbor is one of those locations which is super strategically placed in Dubai. Now we're only about 10 minutes away from downtown. It's placed right on the creek. So you have this phenomenal water which extends all around this island. Now, this is the same creek and canal where the palace is sitting. Palaces usually in Dubai are in some of the most strategically placed locations all across Dubai. In terms of locations, they're always in the most prominent places with the best views possible. The two palaces right here in Dubai Creek Harbor are also sitting right along the canal with amazing water views and views of the new tower. Here, 
We have views, 270 degrees views of the water. Behind you, you have the metro, which is gonna be able to take you to the mall in only about five minutes. You take the metro, within five minutes, you're in the mall. So no worries about cars, traffic, parking, no worries about that. And this new mall, Mohammed al Abbar has recently announced that this mall is gonna have state-of-the-art pyrotechnic shows, fire shows, light shows. Now imagine when you go to, uh, Dubai Mall, you see the fountain show and that's like a thing that millions of millions of people go there just to see that show uh, on a daily basis. You're going to see crowds of people right there to take a look at the fire shows. Now over here, you're going to have these amazing fire shows that are going to be happening. I don't know how it's going to look like. I can only imagine how crazy that would be. And also some amazing light shows that are going to happen there. It's going to be the new largest mall in the world. So you can imagine the traffic that comes along. Like what you see of downtown today, this place is going to be downtown of tomorrow. There is no doubt about it. The new tower that's coming along, it's going to be one of the most iconic and beautiful buildings ever made. So you can also imagine like Dubai and Imar deliver on their promises. So you can, you can imagine how amazing that's going to be. And palace branded residences, you can't go wrong with them because each and every one of these palace residences has grown tremendously in the past. Now I've made videos comparing all palace residences. I've also made videos inside the palace. I've also made videos showing you the palace in downtown. I have done a lot of my work around the palace so you can take a look at all of those. I'll be putting in links in the descriptions for you to follow along. The prices now for a one bed we're looking at around 2.1 million. For a two bed we're looking at around uh, 3 million. On the back side, on the front side with the water views, we're looking at around 4 million. And for the three beds, we're looking at around 5.5 million. Payment plan is going to be 20% a year until handover, which is happening in 2028. And this was the second pick in the best places to invest in Dubai. Now we are headed to place number three. So tag along. So now we are headed to location number three, which is City Walk. And as you can see, I'm right in downtown. You can see Burj Khalifa, downtown skyline right here. And this one straight road takes you in to City Walk and out of City Walk to downtown. So this is called Al Safa Street. We're going to take this and drive towards City Walk. As you can see, it's evening time, it's peak rush hour. And on the map, you can see it's only about six minutes away from here. So in terms of location, prime, prime, prime location in Dubai. This one straight road, if you can see on the map, let me show it to you on the map. This one straight road from here will take you to City Walk, and when you're coming out of there, again, one straight road to uh, downtown. If you want to take a look at where this is placed, this right here is Sheikh Zayed Road. So you're only about a minute away from the Sheikh Zayed Road, either going towards Sharjah or going towards Abu Dhabi. You're sorted either way. Location is absolutely phenomenal. I just want to show you. I've already done a video on this project where I was on the plot showing you the views and discussing about the project but I'm going to go again today and show you the evening vibe from there and this project is going to be number three on the list which is Verve in City Walk and I'll see you at the plot. So we are already in the middle of City Walk. We have the Mercedes showroom, five guys. We have so many amazing retails. We have the beautiful central City Walk junction right here and I'm just gonna drive towards the actual plot in front of us you can see coca-cola arena and behind that you can see the address sky views and Burj Khalifa as well city walk is one of those locations which is like premium iconic locations in Dubai Miras is known to be a luxury developer in Dubai all of their projects be it MJL be it La Mer be it Blue Waters Island all of them are linked with luxury and this particular city walk development is one of the one of the same along the same lines these were the existing buildings of city walk all of them that you can see all around me and we have the new launch of Verve coming up which is in my opinion the best building or the best designed building coming up right here in city walk you can see the beautiful skyline right there these are the views that you will be getting from this new project coming up right here it's very close to the metro as well it's only about a three minute walk from the metro so in terms of metro connectivity it's amazing it sits on Al Safa street uh, you have easy access to Sheikh Zayed road you saw the distance from downtown to here I showed you on the map five or six minutes from downtown in traffic conditions if you had no traffic it would be even better and even smoother drive on that side we have the city walk uh, plaza basically where we have all of these retail centers right there 
it's going to be amazing. I'm going to take you right there as well. But first, I want to show you the plot again because I've already done this in a video. Now, this uh, fencing that you see right here, this is the very plot of the new building that's coming up right here, which is Verve in City Walk. Now, in terms of views, on behind me, you have the entire sea view from the high from a good height you'll be able to see the entire sea view and on that side you'll have the downtown skyline with the beautiful address sky views and also burj khalifa amazing views from either side of the building great connectivity we have two buildings coming up right here which is the verve so this right here is the beautiful view from the new project coming up right here in verve you can see the amazing beautiful address sky views and right behind that you can see the Burj Khalifa now this is not exactly in the right angle you're gonna have a much better view of this from the towers so over here we're gonna have one bedroom starting from 2.1 million two bedrooms starting from 2.9 million and three bedrooms starting from 5.5 million 75 25 payment plan with handover in 2028 this is another one of those phenomenal projects because you have Sheikh Zayed Road right here you have Al Safa Street as you saw in the video you're only about five six minutes away from downtown uh, you have the metro right there. You can see the metro passing from right there. The tube is not too far away. It's only about a three, four minute walk and you have direct access to the metro as well. So in terms of a location, this is one of the most prime locations in Dubai. You're only about 10 minutes away from the beach. One straight road takes you directly to the beach. You also have sea views on apartments that will be facing that side. On that side, you have Coca-Cola Arena. So you have open, clear views. So this is one of those buildings in City Walk, which is going to be a hot 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 cake uh, the registrations have already started the launch is expected to be on 26th of june so if you're interested in this very project this is number three on the list of the top places to invest in so this right here is the retail area of city walk as you can see it's a beautiful it's almost like an open mall you can see all around you have a beautiful fountain right behind there's a show going on at the moment some kind of uh, presentation happening right here over here you can take a look at the beautiful beautiful view of the Burj Khalifa and address sky views right beside it I mean this is the kind of view that you'll be getting from this very new project now if you can take a look you have so many retail centers over here there's a bunch of cafes right here all around the middle area of city walk and there's something happening right here which I don't know what's going on but it looks interesting and also we have the Talabat office we have some some uh, designer offices right here, so many retails, restaurants, more than a hundred retails and restaurants right here in this city walk. And this is only about three minutes away from uh, the new building coming up. So this entire thing is going to be the city walk master plan with the city walk retail areas, the city walk buildings over there, Coca-Cola Arena right there in the middle, and all of these amazing things for you to enjoy right at your doorstep. Five minutes away from downtown this is going to be one of the better projects right here in city walk and take a look at that so this is city walk the new project verve this is going to be number three on the list of the best places to invest in dubai number four on the list is going to be Expo City in Dubai. We have a new launch of Sky Residences, which has a phenomenal payment plan of 50% during construction and 50% five years post handover. This is a phenomenal project coming up right here. Behind, we can see the existing construction that is happening for the Mangrove Residences, which was the first launch right here. And I'm going to show you a little more about uh, of Expo City, the different things that are going on right here and what makes this project absolutely amazing. This behind me is the amazing sustainability pavilion, the Terra Pavilion. You can see these massive sized solar panels right behind you. The government has spent billions and billions on this very project. Now we're just going to walk around and the great part about Expo, uh, Expo City is that you have 24 hour buggy service for everyone who visits this place. I'm going to show you just that. Now I also want to show you the dome which is a beautiful thing right here. You can see the video of the dome right there. It looks absolutely amazing. It is one of the most mesmerizing things that you will see. The light shows that happen on the inside are absolutely crazy. Um, the project's coming up right here. The contractor is Shapurji Palunji Al Nabuda. These are some high-end contractors right here in Dubai. They are the ones behind some 
biggest projects and the most highest of quality projects in Dubai. So they're leaving no stone unturned in terms of spending on the quality contractors to get their buildings ready right here. In front of us, you can see this is the construction ongoing for the mangrove residences, which was the first one, uh, the first residences that came up right here. You can see construction going on in full swing. Uh, this was mangrove and after that we have Sky Residences, that is the second project that is up right here. Mangrove was another three building project. Uh, Sky Residences is also another three building project. So phenomenal projects coming up right here. Great for living, great for sustainability, great futuristic landscaping and architecture everywhere over here. These that you see right here, these shades go and cover this whole place in the morning time to protect you from the sun. And also if it's raining, these shades come and close you know, to save you from the uh, rain. I also want to show you, uh, this is like a map of Expo City, and you can understand where these residences are. So right in the middle, we have the dome. This right beside us is the mangrove residences. Sky Residence is going to come up right here. It's going to be right by the Jubilee Park, right by the waterfalls that are right there. Sorry, this is the waterfall and this is the plaza. So it's very close to the waterfalls. It's close to the park. And there's so many things to explore over here in Expo 2020 that I cannot do in a short video. But I just want to show you some of the highlights of this place. So this is the amazing buggy surface right here in Expo City. 24-7 service for any of the residents or visitors coming right here to drop you from point A to point B. So as you can see, this is a car-free community. No cars on the inside, only some of these uh, electronic buggies. And also we have uh, e-scooters right here, which you can take and move around. So right now we're going to check out the park that is right here and also check out some other attractions inside of Expo City. So right now I'm in the Jubilee Park of Expo City. It's very close to the two residences that are coming along, Mangrove and Sky Residences. And this right here, as you can see over there, that's called Garden in the Sky. So that's a revolving, sorry, a rotating uh, garden deck which goes up and down. But usually when anyone's up there, it takes you up there and just rotates up there in the sky and you can get a full view of the Expo City. So as you can see, the infrastructure here is absolutely amazing. Now, the time right now, it's around 9.30 at night time. So you don't see any people around here. That's because right now, what we have in Expo City are all offices and all of these attractions. There's some top, top, top offices from all around the world that are starting their headquarters and already operational right here in Expo City. So that's why in the evening time, after working hours, you don't see many people here. But once these residents start coming along, the mangroves, sky residences, and also Expo Valley, which are townhouses and villas, this place is going to be alive and thriving. Like there's going to be people everywhere enjoying the beautiful infrastructure that they've created right here. And this is also going to be very close to your new airport that is coming along. You have all kinds of services and amenities right here, buggy services, all kinds of visually pleasing architecture on the inside and different things to do right here. You have restaurants, you have a mall, metro connectivity, beautiful residences and parks and everything. So, so this is the master plan of Expo City. We have the dome, which is right in the middle, the heart and soul of Expo 2020, the city. Uh, the developer is a government based developer, Emirates Airlines CEO and Expo City both have the same CEO and the new residences coming right here is Sky Residences, Tower 1, Tower 2 and Tower 3 which is very close to the dome, it's very close to the waterfalls that are right there and it's a phenomenal project. We have the largest trade center show right there for hosting multiple trade show events so you can imagine the short term rental model over here, it's going to be phenomenal. We have an Emar Mall which is coming up right here. This is going to be the Emar Mall coming up right here. Uh, and we also have an existing metro station within this community which is operational. So the infrastructure here has costed billions to the government of Dubai and they are reusing this very infrastructure to make some phenomenal residences right here. Right here is the exact model of Sky Residences. This is the only major project in Dubai which is offering you an eight year payment plan. 50% during construction, 50% five years post handovers, and that's a phenomenal deal. Also, the apartments here are larger than usual. We are starting prices for one bed from 1.8 going up, two beds, 2.5 going up, and, and this project right here is one of those phenomenal projects. You've seen the infrastructure that which I've shown you. It's absolutely amazing. The dome, the surreal waterfalls, everything looks absolutely amazing, and this is a project not to be missed, and this is number four on the list. So number five on the list, 
last but not the least is going to be Imar South by Imar in the Dubai South area. We are just entering the community right now. You can see the beautiful entrance to the community. Imar does a great job with community management and community building as a whole. As you can see, we, as soon as we enter, we have the retail center and then we have the couple of buildings right here the golf facing buildings so this right here is imar south another beautiful community by imar and we have two projects right here number one we have golf lane which is independent villas and twin villas from a price point of 4.5 million for the twin villas and 5.5 million for the independent villas and also now we have the greenway two townhouses coming up and those are phenomenal phenomenal townhouses imar payment plan is really simple these days 20 percent per year until handover and in greenway we have townhouses coming yet again in imar south uh price point three bedroom from 2.7 million four bedroom from 3.1 million the sizes are absolutely amazing this is a project that is super catered towards the end user crowd so this was the entire drive down we drove to five different places and communities, discussed five amazing, amazing projects right here. We have number one, the Valley semi-detached twin villas coming very soon. Number two, we had palace residences in Dubai Creek Harbor. Number three, we have Verve in City Walk. Number four, we had Sky Residences in Expo City. And number five right here in Imar South. This was the mega drive down and the top five communities to invest in Dubai at the moment. And for now, this is Saad Dubai Realtor signing off.